and some days they're going to eat less than that. Um, their appetites go up and down for a lot of different reasons. Um, here we feed them three times a day. They get a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and they're pretty much allowed to eat as much or as little as they want at each feeding. They're really good about not overeating, so we can kind of allow them to self-regulate. Uh, they know when and where feeding time is, so if they see us coming with that silver bucket, they know that means fish, and if they're hungry, they come on over to the feeding area. Uh, if they're not hungry, they just kind of ignore us. Um, and you'll see their body language will start to change as the feeding goes on, and some of our penguins may actually leave the feeding area altogether once they've had their fill of fish. Um, and again, because we feed them three times a day and because their appetites go up and down, like I said, for a lot of different reasons, uh, it is really important that we're keeping track of what they're eating. So we have a feed record chart with every penguin's name on it and every type of fish that we feed, um, so we can keep accurate feeding records of every single penguin every single day, um, so you can tell what they're eating. And that kind of allows us to uh, monitor those appetite changes and to kind of keep track of what everyone's eating. And those feed records can tell us a lot about what's going on with the colony. Uh, so usually the first sign that an animal isn't feeling well is that it doesn't eat as much. So if we start to notice from those feed records that maybe over a day or so, um, penguin is eating less, so it's kind of a downward trend in their appetite, um, we can make sure we keep a closer eye on that bird, um, try to figure out what's going on. Maybe they're not feeling well, or maybe something else is going on. 